intermittent fasting in three easy steps. What is it? How do you start? And what to expect? So what is it? Let's break it down in technical terms that us normal people can totally understand. Intermittent fasting is when your body goes into a cycle of eating and not eating. That's it. You eat the same, you don't starve yourself, your intake of calories is the normal intake of calories that you would take in any other day. The difference is you're just eating them in your allotted time frame that you've given yourself to eat them in, called the feeding window. The idea is that while your body is not being fed food, it goes into a fasted state. This in simple terms just means that your body has burned through all the carbs, all the sugars, and is now starting to burn through your fat stores, which ultimately helps you lose weight. How do you start? Slowly. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Slowly. For me, that meant 12 hours off, 12 hours on. So 12 hours I was fasting, which is the not eating window, and 12 hours I was feeding in the feeding window, which basically means I was eating. So if you normally have dinner at 7 p.m., push it to 6 p.m. Then give yourself 12 hours to your next meal, which would be in the morning. 6 a.m. This is an incrementally small change to be done without too much effort, which is a good starting point. Some people have to start at a 10 hour fasting window, and that's okay too. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. You just jump to an 18 hour fasting window, 22 hour fast. It's insane. You're going to starve and probably end up passing out. Nobody wants that. Number two. What to expect? The first week, you may have feeling increased mental sharpness, increased energy, mental clarity, and energy spike. You may have feelings of hunger, terrible, terrible feelings of hunger, like you're starving. <laughs> Not kidding. Don't freak out. The hunger pains are your body's signal that it's working. It's doing something. Your body's at work, and it's going to take some time for your body to adjust. Period. Plain and simple. Some people it may be two months, for others it may be three weeks. During this fasting window that you've now given yourself, your body's burning through fuel. It's burning through the hard sugar that it uses for energy. And when that runs out and you're hungry, and when you get hungry, it's burned through all that fuel. Now it's starting to use the fat that is stored in your body and burning the fat using that for energy, which means you're going to notice that you're going to lose some weight. The second and third weeks, you're going to still have those hunger pains and they're going to come and go. It's totally normal. You're going to have some lethargic feelings, you're a little bit tired. Your body is using a lot of energy. It's working and you're going to feel a little bit tired. Also, going to get a little cranky. When I knew I was going to be cranky, I warned everyone around me. <laughs> Nobody likes a cranky, Rita. I'll tell you. <laughs> Eventually, the lethargy will pass. It will begin to have more increased energy and more increased mental clarity. And by the end of the month, I was running circles around everyone with natural energy, happy, hyper, fun. The fourth week, it was like everything clicked for me. I didn't even need coffee in the morning, which I love my coffee. Me, my coffee. By the fourth to sixth week, you should be leveling out. Your moods should be more level. You shouldn't be as tired. You should have more energy. You're going to just start working together. Your body's now built up a habit. It's at this time that you may want to consider adding your workout regime either back to your routine or playing around to see where it works better for you. I personally continue doing my workout routine. When I started this, I sweat more, I burned more, but that also may not work for everybody. You may not be able to work out on a fasted state. Play around with this, works for you, not work for you. I know a couple of people who don't work out during their fasted state, they only work out after they have eaten in their feeding window. That's what works for them. It's really up to you and your body and the goals you for yourself that work. The 
for you. You can have coffee, black coffee, no cream, no sugar, plain tea, water, lots of water, and mineral water. Um, I do a vinegar lemon blast in the morning. Squeeze a lemon, two tablespoons of vinegar, apple cider vinegar with water, and some hot pepper. No calories. But these are the things you can pretty much have while you're fasting. What can you eat during your feeding window? You can pretty much eat whatever you want during your feeding window. If you eat healthy, you're gonna have better results. If you eat junk food, you're gonna have less than great results. If it has calories in it, you cannot drink it during your fasting window. This breaks your fast. You will no longer be fasting if your body is processing calories. That means no cream in your coffee, no juices, sodas, energy drinks. Don't eat if you're fasting. Nothing that has calories in it. Where am I on my own intermittent fasting journey? I've been doing intermittent fasting seven months now. My body is fully acclimated. There's some days where I'm just like, eh, I'm not so stringent about it, and I'll eat late, early. It just happens. But I don't beat myself up over it either. This is a lifestyle change. It's not a quickie fix. I am currently, most days of the week, on a 17-hour fasting, seven-hour feeding window. There are two days a week where I push it to a 20-hour fasting window with a four-hour feeding window. I only do that once or twice a week and to shock my system a little bit. Disclaimer, do not try to do a 20-hour fast your first time out. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Sidebar to not eating something. If I was trying to push my window out a little further, um, I do a vinegar lemon blast in the morning. Black coffee, I do that almost all the time. Uh, the other thing is that the black coffee, it curbs your appetite too. And I'm able to ingest something when I'm fasting. Oh, one more thing. Very, 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 very important. Water. Tons of water. While you're fasting, while you're feeding, drink tons of water. When you're drinking water, it's helping to replenish what your body needs. Also drink mineral water. On fasting too. There's no calories in that and the sodium helps. Good luck with your intermittent fasting. If you have any questions at all, throw them down in the comments below. If you have any requests, let me know. Comment, rate, and subscribe.